Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. Uh, just giving an update on uh, uh, how this kind of all, all came about. And uh, my dad was an auctioneer and well known in the community, and he just knew a lot of people and a lot of friends. So he started a, uh, a watermelon party called an annual watermelon party on Labor Day weekend and uh, started that like 40 years ago, 45 years ago, and it just kind of grew. All we did was watermelon, but we had a great time and had some music in the evenings. And then in 1976, the Indiana Wagon Train joined up with the National Wagon Train in northern Indiana, and my dad and mom went up there and joined them temporarily for a couple weekends and then decided uh, that was pretty cool, so they decided to hook up their uh, wagon and so forth and put it on a truck, and we hauled him over to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and met up with the National Wagon Train, which all 50 states were heading for Valley Forge, and they all ended up at Valley Forge then in July the 4th. Two months later, his annual watermelon party was supposed to happen, so he invited all the friends that we picked up along the way that summer to come at the first reunion back here in, at this farm to have a wagon train, the first one, a reunion, and that's how that started in 1976. And so over the years, it has just continued different generations. My mother, which is 101 years old, uh, she is the last of that generation that went on that trip. And she was here yesterday. We were glad she could go. And it has grown over the years. And we've moved over into the woods here a little further. And, uh, but we've had a great time over the years. And everything that you could imagine has happened because on the second day, we go down Otter Creek, which is a really rough old ride, about as close to the old time ways you could possibly do. And um, it's a family tradition, a lot of work and a lot of fun, but we enjoy it. This here's back in the old back, uh, dates back in time. This is the old farm trail where we used to have hogs back here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Was That's it, a hog uh, waller right there. Was it wooded then? Yes. Uh -huh. It was wooded then and had hogs come back here and get the corn out of it corn crib there, trying to shovel it out of there. It wasn't real fun, really.
Nice pair of mules. Thank you. Did you raise them? No, I bought them from this one was here and I had another pair and I had I bought them. So you mostly broke them? You broke them yourself? Yeah. They're 1920 now. Is that right? Yeah. What do you do with them besides wagon trains? You work them at home? A little bit. I dish my garden with them and uh, got a four cart and I put a whole side delivery rake and break my hay with them. Of course, sure. I just got about five acres of hay all in there. Sure. Just play with them. You yep, know. yep. It's fun to do. Yeah. Uh, and they broke the ride. Okay. I ride that one over and she rides this one. Nice. My daughter used to ride this one, but she don't ride anymore. Do you, Percheron probably? Percheron mules? Sir? Percheron mules, you think? No, they're out of a half flare mower. Well, but the, really? Wow. Black Mammoth Jack. No the, kidding. The man that raised them, uh, Beth, in, it was Beth in the Illinois, and he used to raise Persian mules to show and all that, but then he had a half flare mower, he said, for the kids to play with. Well, the kids gone, and so he bred half flare mower twice to uh, that. Huh. Black man with Jackie had and got these, and anyway, I ended up with them. So was he breeding Percheron mare to a black man with Jack before that then? Yeah. Getting that's some pretty he, big he, black mules. Yeah, he used to show them in the state fire over in Illinois. And okay. How you doing, old buddy? Pretty good, thank you. Still you. running around, I see. Yeah, that's good. Still going. Yeah, I Boy, think about your wife. Why is your mother up there? And I know what she wanted to get in there, yeah. so we couldn't tell her no. <laughs> we wanted to say no, but we couldn't. So. We got her in there. Yeah, that was good. She, she smiled the whole time. Yeah. Old timers, them guys, they go, they go 20 miles a day. Well, that's what we were just talking start about. at nine o'clock. But this generation here, we kind of like to have a little more talk time and a little more <laughs> camping time. So we only go about eight or ten or twelve or something. We published our first draft horse wall calendar over 40 years ago, 
and every year since we've found the most interesting and beautiful photos of a variety of draft horse breeds performing a wide assortment of activities, from hauling families on a sleigh ride to feeding cattle, performing before an appreciative crowd, or preparing a seedbed for planting. Our photos capture the power and grace of these gentle giants. Made in the USA of the best materials, these calendars are wire-bound to lay flat against the wall and feature large date squares for recording important events or appointments. They're only $16.95 postage paid. Prices go down as you buy more. Visit www.ruralheritage.com or call toll-free 1-877-647-2452. That's www.ruralheritage.com or 1-877-647-2452. Chicken man. Yep. I do refrigeration, so good buddies with them. Sure. You got these marinating something. Yep. 
secret sauce, probably. Yep, don't tell nobody. It's salt and pepper and water. Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. Yeah. I do use sea salt. I got a bag. The main thing is, people like it a lot better, taste better, if they're standing there watching you make it, drinking sure. beer. <laughs> it's all in the atmosphere. Just about, yes. Thanks for coming, everybody. Glad you're here. Glad we can do it this year. And uh, glad Grandma's here. And this is 101 this year, so she's going for the record. So. And she even rode in a wagon this morning. We were going out the lane, and we all at once somebody called and said, or stopped us and said, Grandma wants in that wagon. So. She climbed in the wagon, and we helped her a little bit, and she had a big smile all the way out the, out the light, so it was great. So we're glad she got to go. So we are really glad everybody's here. Been around for just a little bit and get a little skit together. We're still finishing up the final. There, there are a couple openings for that if anybody wants to get <laughs> So we're going to do that, so hang around or be, a, be come back. So hang around. Just have a good time. We're glad you're here. And um, so and before we eat, we're going to have a word of prayer. And uh, and just uh, in memory of last year when we lost a good friend. And uh, so let's just pause for like 30 seconds and remember John and, uh, and then we'll have prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we are just so happy to be here and the beautiful day that you provided for us and we thank you for that and we thank you for the nature and and uh, we're just glad to be here we ask that you bless this food and um, bless all that are here and, and those that couldn't make it keep them safe and we just pray that we have a great day tomorrow and safe day and we just pray for uh, you to stay in each and every one of our lives and we're just here for a little bit on this earth and so Stay with us and keep with us each and every day. Thank you again for everything you do for us each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hi, I'm Joe Mishka of Rural Heritage Magazine. I'm on location of one of the many events we cover that celebrates our rural heritage. If you enjoy our show, check out our magazine, where you'll learn more about the people that blend the past with what works today. You can save almost 20% off the newsstand price by subscribing at ruralheritage.com or chat with us at 877-647-2452. That's toll free, 877-647-2452.
Thanks for joining us today at Rural Heritage and RFD TV, where we borrow from yesterday to do the work of today. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging, as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.